he, he finally told me like, Nick, th I'm gonna get in trouble if you don't tell me right now. Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a story time. You guys are probably like, what the hell, Nick, you can read, like you have a 50 in English. I know, but like, there's always, uh, you know, beginning for everything, so this is my beginning for story times, yes. But today I'm gonna be telling a story on how I stole $1,000 from my dad, and uh, yeah, it was, it was really bad because, you know, we got the law involved, and I was 12. But anyway, we're gonna get started, um, so this is back in 2012, where there was a game out. It was called Yoville, I was obsessed with this game, it was just like a virtual world where you can have like... Like, you know friends from different countries and different states and stuff and you guys can like meet in like this little thing you can have your own house buy houses buy furniture buy pets just hang out and like talk to people it was really fun and there is a thing where you can buy more coins more you know cash so you can like you know buy more stuff I gave my dad some money one day I was like dad hey if I give you 25 bucks can I use your credit card so I can buy some yo cash or yo coins or whatever and he's like yeah sure no problem I took his credit card I wrote the number down and I wrote the expiration date and I also wrote the little you know number on the back which no one knows what the hell that is because it's irrelevant. Over time, I kept using the card, using the card. One day I did, you know, $50. The next day I did $100. And then uh, I kind of maxed out the thing because it wouldn't let me buy anymore. He didn't find out till the end of the month when he got his bank statement that I kept using his credit card. By this time, I already had his credit card memorized in my brain. I remembered the whole 16 digits, the expiration date. I didn't even need that paper anymore because I kept using it so, so much. It was so bad. Out of doing that, I got some more pets. I got some furniture. I rocked out some new little houses. Like, dude, my character looks so rich in there. Oh my god. I I missed I missed this game so much. But now this game like died out because like you know no one uses it no more. But when my dad found out about this, he pulled me aside and was like, Nicholas, what'd you do? Like, wh what is this? I was like, Dad, no, 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 no. I used your card once. I didn't use it any more times. And I was a good liar, bro. Like, <laughs> but anyway. Oh. God. I just made the dogs park. <laughs> I don't mean to keep barking. That was me, bro. Stop. Chill. He was like, Nicholas, I may have to go to court for this. What is this? And I just kept denying it. Like, I was like, you know what? He's not going to find out. Like, how's he going to find out? Is he, you know, going to get all investigative and put on his little badge and just say, eh, did you do this? Which he kind of did, but, you know, it didn't really scare me until one day where he was on the phone with, like, the courts or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't know if it was the court or, like, the people that, you know, run Yeovil or whatever, but he talked to them, and he's like, we have different payments from each days. He finally told me, like, Nick, I, I, th I'm gonna get in trouble if you don't tell me right now. And I was just like, you know, maybe he's lying, maybe, like, you know, he's trying to, like, get it out of me or something, but no. I ended up telling him, and I started busting out crying because, like, I'm just a little p I started crying, I was like, So he literally looks at me with like the biggest disgusted face I've ever seen in my life. I was like, don't kill me. I'm gonna play Yogo first. But the same day that I confessed to him that he found out about the money getting stolen, my brother crashed the car into the garage. Not even joking at all, I swear to you guys. How does that even happen? Like, first of all, your son, one of your sons just took money away from you. And then second of all, your other son just crashed the car into the garage. You about to be owing so much money. <laughs> Dude, this is so bad. Oh my god. I didn't have to pay anything back because, you know, I didn't really want to and he told me I didn't have to. So I was like, you know what? Great. Love life. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I got the money back. I don't know if he did or not. But yeah, that, that that's the end of the story. That's how I stole $1,000 from my dad from a Facebook virtual game. That's kind of sad. That's really sad, bro. But anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys give a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to be notified when I post a new video. Make sure you guys hit that bell button right there. Um, and that'll make my day because you guys actually watch me and I, you know, that, that's fun. It's great, but yeah. Also, if you guys want to check me out on social media, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the links will be down below in the description. Just click the little more thing and it should pop up. If it doesn't, then I don't know what you guys are clicking, but yeah. Uh, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on Monday for a new video. Peace out, guys, and have a great weekend. And yeah, don't steal your parents' credit card. Don't do it. It's, it's really bad. It'll get you in trouble. Bye, guys.